the principal disputes were not regarding peers, whether you should have a peer, a spiritual guide, or whether you should wear ta'weed, an amulet, or whether uh, you can um, uh, circumambulate graves. These were not the principal issues. The principal issues first debated, even though circumambulating graves is prohibited, haram in Sharia. But the principal issues were relating to the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why I believe today all the scholars of the Indian subcontinent, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, it is an obligation upon them to teach the public works like a Sanusiya, the Sanusi creed, the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the mass ignorance amongst the public regarding the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What was the second major dispute? The second major dispute, like the first major dispute, has its origins in a theologian by the name of Abu al-Abbas, Ahmad bin Taymiyyah. Ahmad bin Taymiyyah was a scholar from Damascus. And he was the first to introduce the second major difference between Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah and the modern pseudo Salafi movement, which is what they prohibited, meaning Ahmed bin Taymiyyah and his student Ibn Qayyim, and later on Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab in the 1700s, when Kuwait was being taken over, colonized by the British colonialists. You had, so the Muslim world was distracted by colonialism. You had the rising of a new movement of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab in Eastern Arabian Peninsula to distract the Muslims again, like ISIS is today. While you have a Zionist state occupying Palestine, committing mass uh, killings of Palestinian people at the same time removing them from their homeland and you have the occupation of the of the haram of the holy sanctuary you have a group called ISIS which is distracting Muslims again like Muslims in Iraq are distracted with those who insult the companions of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and like you have secular Saudis bombing Yemen today where 7 million Yemenis are hungry without food. One fourth of the population is without food or is suffering, is in need of aid. One fourth of the population of Yemen. While you have Muslims fighting one another in Syria, you have a group called ISIS further distracting the Muslims. And history repeats itself that while groups like ISIS distract the Muslims, killing Muslims and causing disunity amongst Muslims, you have Muslim lands being occupied. So in the 1700s, Britain was occupying Kuwait and the movement of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab came from Eastern Arabia Peninsula in order to distract the Ottoman Empire and to weaken the Ottoman Empire from within. So this movement of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab, what did they do? One of the major verdicts that they gave, which disunited the Muslims, was stating that it is prohibited for anyone to visit the grave of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from another country. Meaning, if a person intended to go to visit the grave of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Iraq or from Syria with this intention they said this is haram and a bid'ah an innovation this is against the consensus of the four schools all four schools agree on the desirability of visiting the grave of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but here Ahmed bin Taymiyyah his fatwa was that the desirability is for the masjid you go to the masjid, al-masjid al-nabawi, al-sharif, and you visit the masjid, and then afterwards you can visit the grave. This is how he interpreted the companions visiting the grave. 
But if someone intends just to visit the grave, this is an innovation. This of course went against the consensus of the four schools. Because early Hanbali scholars like Ibn Qudama al-Maqdisi rahimahullah ta'ala in al-Mughni and other Hanbali scholars like the author of Al-Ahkamu Sultaniya. There is Al-Ahkamu Sultaniya by Al-Mawardi, the Shafi'i. There is also Al-Ahkamu Sultaniya by an early Hanbali Imam. All of them say that it is desirable for people to visit the grave of the Messenger of Allah 